Hi there, today uh, we are learning topic one, A2 at Excel statistics, that is regression, correlation and hypothesis testing. So in this video, we are going to focus on regression and line of regression and its linear model. So regression lines can be used to a model as a linear relationship between two variable. It can be Y, it can be X, it can be T, it can means any two variables, okay? So sometimes experimental data does not fit for a linear model, but it still shows a clear pattern. So we can use logarithm and code in to examine trends in non-linear data. So suppose, if we have an equation like this, uh, y equal to a to the power x n, yeah. Suppose we have equation like this, uh, y equal to a to a x to the power n, right? So this is our exponential form, yeah. This is our exponential form okay and we can convert it into logarithmic form so when we are talking about the logarithmic form so we can uh, convert it into log okay so there should be log so what we can do we can do log both side we can take log both sides so if we take log both sides so it will be log y equal to log a x to the power n now we know this rule log m times n will be log m plus log n so we can break it so this is our m and this is our n so this is log y equal to log a plus log x to the power n we know another rule as well uh, like uh, log m to the power n so what happened this n comes here forward so it is n log m so we can apply same same rule here and then what happens this n comes here so we got log y equal to log a plus n log x okay so log y equal to log a plus n log x isn't it so if our equation is uh, so this is what uh, uh, logarithmic form so this was exponential form so we have converted this into logarithmic form so this is logarithmic form okay if sometimes equation is in a different form let's suppose y uh, equal to a b x here yeah? let's talk about a b to the power x then what is going to happen so if equation is like this y equal to a b to the power x so again this is exponential form we can convert it into logarithmic form so taking log both sides so let's take log y equal to log a plus log b to the power x and this x is coming forward log y this is y equal to log a plus x log b so in gcsc we know equation of a line with gradient m y equal to mx plus c okay so if we want to compare this equation in the same form like log y equal to log a plus x log b in this form then what is going to happen let's have a look here so let's write down in place of y so this is our equation uh, log y equal to let's write down this first here x log b plus log a so if you write down here y equal to mx so instead of mx we can write down x m plus c so our gradient is our gradient is this one yeah if you are comparing both equation so m will be log b and c which is y intercept c which is y intercept uh, it will be equal to log a so c is log a so we can get uh, equation of a line in this form right so it will be log y here on 
y-axis and it will be here log x on the x-axis okay and when we are using coding like um, uh, here I can explain you coding when we are using coding then we are replacing this log y as a y and a small x as a x okay a small x as a x so in this case what will be the graph uh, graph uh, will be between log y and x okay let's see a couple of questions and uh, this is what the theory we are going to apply now let's see the question then picture will be more clear so this is our question the table shows some data collected on the temperature in de uh, degree centigrade of a colony of bacteria t and its growth is given in this table the data are coded using the changes of variable uh, here we are using x as a t x equal to t and y equal to log g so this is the way data is coding and the regression line y on x is given this y equal to minus 0 0.2215 plus uh, 0.0792x and Mika says that constant minus 0.2215 in the regression line means that the colony is shrinking. So let's see whether Mika is right or wrong. So our equation is given here. Let's write down the equation which is um, y equal to minus 0.2215 plus um, 0.0792x okay now uh, Mika says uh, uh, that the constant in the regression line means that the colony is sinking when the temperature is 0 degree centigrade it means when t is 0 then x is 0 why because x is equal to t if you see here x is equal to t so 0 if you put x equal to 0 there then we get y equal to minus 0 0.2215 and y is what log g so see here y is log g so instead of y we can write down here log g so when we are using log so it means there is a base 10 here is a base 10 so we know this rule a to the power b equal to c then you write down b equal to log base ac so we are going backward from logarithmic form to exponential form so then you can write down a to the power b equal to c so in the same way here you can write down g equal to 10 to the power minus 0.22 one five and when you put this value in a calculator 10 to the power minus 0 0.2215 it comes 0 0.600 which is three significant figure so this growth rate is positive so this growth rate is positive while positive so i can write down here positive and while mika is saying that uh, colony is shrinking which is not so mika is wrong so this is the explanation i have given now second part uh, saying given that the data can be modeled in the equation of this form g equal to k b to the power t where k and b are constants and find the values of k and b so let's see this part b part so our equation is it is b part g equal to k b to the power t taking log both sides so it will be log g equal to log k plus log b to the power t so this will be log k plus t log b and this is equal to log g now log k okay and plus t log b this is what we need to compare here right so so this is what our exponential equation i have converted into log here yeah? but our original equation is given uh, y is minus 0 0.2215 plus 0 0.0792 x okay so if we put y equal to log g because y is here log g so if we put here log g uh, this is minus sign here okay so minus 0 0.2215 plus and x is as a t 
x as a t so it will be 0.0792 t so here is base 10 so we can write down here 10 z 10 to the power minus 0 0.2215 plus 0 0.792 and t okay so g equal to 10 to the power minus this one so this is uh, our equation now now so uh, this is what we have done now we can write down uh, z equal to this value we have found 10 to the power minus is 600 so if you see in this place in this place we can write down here 0 0.600 and 0 0.792 to the power t so it will be uh, it is time sign 10 to the power 0 0.792 and outside t we have written this and this value once you put in a calculator it comes 1.2 so g is equal to 0 0.600 times 1.2 to the power t so if you compare this equation with the um, uh, y g equal to k b t with this equation if you compare it g equal to k b to the power t then what will happen k is equal to 0 0.600 and b is 1.2 you can see easily b is 1.2 and k is 0 0.600 so b is 1.2 i hope things are clear now okay let's quickly do one more question okay here the table shows some data collected on the temperature t of a colony of insect larva and the growth rate g of the population it is given in the table and the um, uh, temperature and growth rate the data are coded using the uh, change of the variable like x equal to t and y equal to log g a regression line y on x is given y equal to 0 0.09 plus 0 0.05 x given that data can be modeled by the equation in this form and find the value of a and b so see here we already got here um, x is t x is t you can see here and uh, y is log g yeah so let's replace with y with log g 0 0.09 plus 0 0.05 and x with t okay log is base uh, 10 here so we can write down here t and g equal to 10 to the power 0 0.09 plus 0 0.05 t okay so this we can write down further g 10 to the power 0 0.09 times 10 to the power 0 0.05 and we can write down like this once we put this value in a calculator 10 to the power 0 0.09 yeah it comes 1.23 okay and uh, this is 10 to the power 0 0.5 that comes 1.12 uh, 1.12 to the power t from this value and this value so if you compare this equation in the form of uh, like we got it here uh, g equal to a b to the power t so from here we got g a is 1.23 then b is 1.12 to the power t so where we have found a and b so a is 1.23 and b is 1.12 so a is 1.23 and b is 1.12 on comparison i hope things are clear so you can try this exercise this is exercise 1a of statistics second year uh, at excel book so in next video we will learn more about uh, hypothesis testing and regression thank you very much thanks for watching